There's a hot debate going on right now. Should you pick software engineering or data science? Because you can't do both. Either you go down the software path or the data path. And unfortunately, if you take the wrong path, you'll waste years of your life and end up in a position that I would never wish upon you. So today I'll clear up the confusion and show you exactly how to choose between software engineering and data science as a beginner looking to get into one of these fields with lots of high paying jobs and often the opportunity to work from home as well. If that's what you're looking for, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Now, first we have to define what these things actually are. And software engineering is all about building products. You focus on creating software products like games, systems, websites, and all sorts of applications. Software engineering involves working by yourself, as well as working in a team of engineers and other people to build and maintain these software products. A large part of the job involves different forms of coding. You may work in Java, Python, C++, and many other languages and frameworks depending on the job and the company. It involves solving complex technical problems and creating efficient software solutions. There is a very high demand for software engineers across a variety of different sectors because everything's digital nowadays and software is everywhere. So what about data science? Well, data science is all about using data to discover insights. And it's kind of like a combination of computer science, math and statistics, as well as specific knowledge about the domain or the industry. Now to get a job in data science, you'll often need a good understanding of Python or R, statistical analysis, and also a good understanding of modeling and machine learning depending on the role, as well as data visualization skills. Data is already critical for companies, but it's only becoming more and more important every single day. Your job in data science plays a crucial role in decision making and strategy in lots of different industries by providing these data-driven insights to companies. Whether it's to improve sales in a company or predict the future climate of the planet, data science is absolutely everywhere. So what kind of jobs can you get in these fields. We're going to start with software engineering. And there are many specific roles, but the obvious one is the software engineer itself. This is a very general role and you can do a lot of different things depending on the company and your specific job description and work with lots of different types of software. Many companies also use more specific roles, such as certain type of uh, developers and engineers. If you're really interested in building applications for iOS or mobile devices, you could become an iOS developer, for example. For data science, we also have a couple of different roles. You could start out as a data analyst, which is generally speaking a role that's not super technical, but more focusing on analyzing and understanding data. You could also become a data scientist. Here you'll need a lot more technical skills. The data scientist is a very vague role, way more than a software engineer, and they can do a lot of different things. It's likely because the role is relatively new compared to something like a software engineer. Because although data science isn't a new thing, the way that the field looks today is definitely a new thing. You could also go for more specific machine learning learning roles such as the machine learning engineer or you could work as a data engineer there are lots of roles in data science as well not just the data scientist and the data analyst. I believe that the future will be more specialized roles because that's what we've seen for other job positions in other industries. When a field is new, it's relatively undefined and people are just doing whatever they have to, but eventually each job will have their set of more specific responsibilities. Now, when it comes to career opportunities, both software engineering and data science will open you up to a ton of high paying jobs if you decide to go for them. There are a couple of different ways to get a really high paying job in both software and data science. First, you can climb the career ladder itself and just go towards a more senior position, eventually ending up as some sort of manager where you're responsible for a team of software engineers or a team of, let's say, data scientists. You can even go towards the executive positions and become a chief technology officer or a CTO. They can make hundreds of thousands of dollars per year in major firms. But here's where I think most people make the wrong decision because everybody isn't fit to be a manager and everyone shouldn't be a manager because they don't want to be a manager. And it's not the only way to progress in your career in these two fields. You can also specialize, become an expert and really dig deep into a specific thing in software or data science. If you become a top level data scientist or a top level machine learning engineer, you'll make a ton of money, perhaps even more than the managers. Just like with software, if you become a top tier software engineer, at the best companies, you also don't necessarily need to climb to management position to make that kind of money. Google's engineers can make 250 to 300k per year in the US if they're really good at what they do. When it comes to competition, 
both software engineering and data science can be very competitive. And there is a reason why some salaries are incredibly high for that reason. It's because it requires a lot from you and it's difficult, it's supposed to be. But it can also be a really rewarding career. Many people are happy, but some mention stress and high workloads as some of the things that have a negative impact on their job satisfaction. Let's talk about the pros and cons of each one. For the software engineer, you'll do a lot more programming. If you're not a huge fan of that, data science requires much less programming. It's more of a tool rather than the main thing. Software is also more about building things. It's pretty obvious why. You're building an application and you're maintaining and improving it. In data science, it's less obvious what you're going to be doing. You may try to discover new insights or understand something better, and it's way more about discovering rather than building. If you don't like uncertainty and making sense of things, that can be a pretty big part of data science and it's worth considering. Now, both fields pay really, really well, and that's not a worry at all. The job prospects are good for each one, although entry-level jobs can be really difficult, let's just be honest. That's because both fields have a weird situation. There are many beginners, but not enough experts, so in the beginning it can be quite tough. So how do you get started in software engineering or data science? The first thing to consider is whether you have a degree or not. If you're looking at roles like data scientists or the machine learning engineer, you'll often need a degree to get started. Now, there are certainly ways to get there without a degree, and there are people that have done it, such as by working your way up from another role like the data analyst and so on. But when it comes to software engineering, I mean, anyone can learn programming. Many employers are going to require a degree as well, just to kind of filter out candidates. But I would say that it's a little bit easier to get into this field without a degree, compared to data science. You can start as a software developer and slowly transition into a more senior role. The reason why I mentioned degrees is because there's no way to avoid talking about them, and all the people that pretend like they're not a game changer are just lying to you. We can all talk about how useful they are or not and what you actually learn, but whether you like it or not, companies often highly value them. But you can start a career in software and data science without them, and I'll leave some resources in the description that I recommend for beginners, whether you have a degree or not. That's all, thanks for watching and good luck on your journey in whatever field you decide to go for.